Hey guys, welcome. I've got an update for Light Magic Studio 6, which is going to be a full collection storage um, custom gobo setup. Okay, so you'll be able to pull in all of the different lighting black body intensities presets. I just left those in there. It just makes sense. You can have fun with those. I left the Umbrella Studio in the sphere studio i left the man which you know you always need scale reference uh, but i've got some different gobos in here there's going to be a bunch more and the really cool thing is that you can download any image that you want from the internet so like i went over here and found this one it works really well but if you just go over to your search engine and you type in silhouette and let's just grab say um, let's go with window silhouette and hit enter. And so you can create your own doing this as well, but this is just one way of doing it. So this is kind of interesting. Let's see if I can grab it. Just right click and save as, and it will do a JPEG. I would say that a PNG would look a little bit better. So window clip art is going to download into my Gobo folder. I'll just go ahead and save that and jump back over into Blender. And I've got a file browser built in now that's made just to load gobos into the preset. So when you click to add one of these gobo scenes, one of these four right here, uh, what you're going to get is a black body intensity and just a little node setup. And it's going to live update this node for you so you don't have to go in and really do much. Now uh, let's go ahead and grab that now. I'm in my Gobo folder already. And so if I just grab the Gobo, you can see, boom, it's already there. And so now you've got lighting controls. The shadow soft size, or rather the uh, radius, is going to either sharpen that up completely, or you can blur it out just a touch. You can increase or decrease the spot size and create some pretty cool stuff and alt x will pull my light intensity down a good bit because it doesn't really look too good and you kind of play around with the exposure and you'll have something really nice really quickly now i'm gonna hit a for all and i'm gonna store this entire collection scene every property in here uh, i shouldn't say every property yet but you'll get the color get the power uh, the scale, you know, you can increase the scale of objects as well. And we could, we could play around that light to the cats on the bench, but not too important. And so I can save all of that. Now I'll go back in and grab the light and I want to change the color. Maybe something like this. And I can do this with the black body intensity. I don't have to do it here, but just for the example, and change the power and I'm gonna go ahead and store that scene wait let me select okay gone and done it so I'm gonna have to do that again real quick scale that up to touch grab the light change the color change the power hit a for all that because you're trying to grab everything and then store that so if I go back uh, it changed not only the scale of the mesh, it changed the color, the intensity, everything just changed. And this is a collection within a collection and it has a sub collection. So that's gonna give you the option now with the Lightmagic Studio to do like a, a lot more. And if you click to select any object, you will have object properties in here that are static with Blender. And then I made this menu so you can come in and turn certain things on and off to kind of see how you get things to look. Turn off the empty, I can turn off the plane, do whatever I want. And you can just have those nice ominous shadows going over there and turn off the spot. Uh, you can individually grab every object in the scene. And if you grab an empty, for some reason it, it'll it knock you out. Uh, that's the only caveat there, but everything else you can grab and then go back through. Now, if I was to take everything in here and just delete it, come back to the Light Magic Studio, I'll put in the uh, Tree Gobo setup here, and nothing is really showing up 
because it just doesn't load. Blender's native response is not to load the gobo. So I would just come in and double click to add the gobo. And it's pretty quick. And I'll see if there's a way to remedy that because it's kind of annoying. But you'll see, let's say turn my world settings down, what you can do with that. Now it's pretty fun. Like I said, you can use the radius or soft shadow size, which is not the spot size. It's actually the radius to blur this thing out and get like some different results. And you could even throw in another light or you can throw in another setup here. I'll actually put a button in it so you can just throw in a, a gobo light by itself and then you can switch gobos on that, which will be pretty cool. And so now you can kind of change this around and, uh, you know, you can rotate that. It's living rent free in the scene. It's not going to be very heavy. It's not going to take up a lot of space. It's not going to take up. Well, let's just grab the entire scene and we'll go to the overlays and we'll turn on statistics and see if it's going to show. Yeah, there we go. So this actually I extruded and did a few things, but so it's got a few things and the table's got a little bit, but the total for everything really is, it's pretty light. That's pretty light for a scene um, that has a texture background. And so don't forget with the light, you actually are changing the, this not the silhouette, but you're changing the background because it's projecting the silhouette, but the light still stays the way it is. So if you want to throw something like really crazy in there, you can easily do that. And you know, you got all the holidays coming up, so you can make a lot of different color variations. And don't forget, you do have the black body intensities uh, to work with as well. Give me that light. That's why I've got a grab button there, because it makes it very easy. And so if you look at the light meter here, this one says match flame, street light, sunset, and so on. And then it has an average on it for what it's supposed to achieve. So if I want it to look like midday, I put in 5,500. If I want it to look like a clear sky, I put in something like 20,000. So put in 5,500, looks nice. So I think 20,000 is kind of, it's kind of like the highest, that's the clear sky. And so that looks pretty good. Like I said, you can just go clear, but you can kind of blur that bad boy out. Don't forget, you can just hold shift it's all, it's all the same native blender controls that are built in. There are going to be a few other features in here, but this, I think, kind of stands out. So you'll be able to minimize the lighting controls. I wasn't going to put an extra panel in, but it just kind of made sense because I was getting some really funky errors with my dropout menu. Um, so Blender just wasn't having it. But that's it, guys. This is the big update. I'm going to add a bunch more gobos. This version is already on the Blender market. It does support the channel. I do appreciate everybody if you go pick it up and give a nice review. Leave your comments below for things you would like to see in this add-on because I am in the creation process. I'm in my slower season now in wintertime. So I'm going to be spending a lot of time on this add-on and I've got some big plans for it. So thanks for watching, guys. Smash that subscribe, smash that like, and I'll catch you in the next one.